G'day guys and welcome to my RXY Speed video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about finals week one recap for 2019 guys. So let's get started. So this first match off this round we see the um, Roosters taking on the Rabbits. I think that game was an absolute great game though. 30 points to 6 that game was. I think this one was an absolute flogging of that match. But 5 tries but only to one try for the Rabbitohs and five tries to the Roosters. But I think that game, though, was an absolute great game. But seeing the Roosters, well done. They get absolute getting the job done. I really think that um, they had an absolute great ability, great agility, and great attacking motion of that game. I really think that they were focused, and they just put on a great show for, you, uh, for the crowds out there that absolutely loved the Roosters. And I think that game was just an absolute great game, but I really think that the Rabbitohs, they just really lacked um, agility, uh, motion, and focus, because I really think that the Rabbitohs are an absolute great side, but unfortunately that game was just not an attacking motion for the Rabbitohs. I really think that um, the Rabbitohs are just a great team though, but really, I think the Rabbitohs are just not working that well against the Roosters, only because that the Roosters are an absolute great side, but they, the, but the Rabbitohs are just not um, in that um, good quality um, tacking uh, motion sometimes. But yeah, I just really think that um, that game was an absolute great game. But literally, I did go for the Roosters though by six points, and they absolutely got the job done by only five tries to one. But I really think that it was an absolute 10 out of 10 game at Sydney Cricket Ground, but yeah, what an absolute great game it was to defeat the um, Rabbitohs, um, 30 points to 6, um, that scoreline was. The next game of that round, we saw the Melbourne Storm taking on the um, Raiders. I think that game, though, was an absolute brilliant top game, I think, though, but that game was just so hard, but I did not know if the Melbourne Storm were going to um, win or the Raiders were going to win, but... The Raiders only did, but only just, but literally only because this one was an absolute hard game to watch. Only because that the Raiders are an absolute good football team, but you also got the Melbourne Storm though, which are in the top, top footy um, squad, but they only come first in that um, at, um, on the ladder. But anyway though, I just really think that that game was an absolute great game though. But it was just a hard match to predict. And I just think that was the Raiders going to get this or was the Melbourne Storm got this? But I really think that um, it was just either the side up. But the Raiders, they got the job done only just though. But I think that that game though was an absolutely brilliant game. But the Raiders only got the job done though by two points. But I did go for the Melbourne Storm though by eight points. But I literally think that that game was an absolute great game. But um, saying that, it was a twelve, it was a twelve points to ten um, scoreline that was. <coughs> but yeah, it was an absolute great game to see a um, couple of tries leaning in um, to that match. But yeah, what can you do really? But that one was just a really hard match to decide. Either the Raiders are going to win or the Melbourne Storm are going to win. But yeah, the Raiders only got the job done though by two points. And I did tip the Melbourne Storm though by eight. And they didn't get the job done though, but they only just lost by two points for the Melbourne Storm. The next game of that round, we see the um, Manly Seagulls going up against the Cronulla Sharks. I think this game though was an absolute splendoring match of that game. And I really think that um, this one was an absolute splendoring match. But I do think that um, what, like the stadium was going to move over to the Bank West Stadium. But they held it on and I think um, what an absolute great thing to do to not move it to Bank West Stadium. Only because um, I think that it was just quite a confusion uh, for that um, thing to happen. But only because the asbestos was absolutely um, damaging the stadium though. But I really think that it was just really an opportunity, though, for either um, going to Bank West or going back to Lotto Land. But anyway, um, that game, though, for the um, Cronulla Sharks was just a bit hard for them. They're just not um, getting a good quality um, thing into their team. But sometimes um, they only come out with the good, <coughs> only with the good, like, uh, hard out 
and um, good respect. Um, but anyway, I just think, though, know, what an absolute great win, though, um, for the um, <sighs> Manly Seagulls. To get this win, though, by 28 points to 16, that scoreline was. And I did tip the um, Manly Seagulls by 10 points, and they did get the job done by only a couple of points, though. But I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, Cronulla Sharks were an absolute great team, but they just didn't they just didn't get more tries to get that win. But unfortunately, though, but um, they played their great heart out, but they didn't um, get any... Um, other points to um, to get the Cronulla Sharks to get that win though but yeah I really think that that game though was an absolute great win uh, for the Manly Seagulls because they are an absolute good um, good quality football team but yeah I do um, think that sometimes I just think that Manly Seagulls are lacking motions and also um, lacking agility but yeah, I didn't think that the Manly Seagulls were going to win. But yeah, Cronulla Sharks, unfortunately, they lost. But yeah, they obviously are out of the competition. But yeah, they are um, a good quality um, football team, the Cronulla Sharks, though. But I do um, respect uh, with the Cronulla Sharks. But yeah, um, yeah, that was an absolute great win, though, by the Manly Seagulls. But yeah, I did tip the uh, Manly Seagulls, though, by 10 points. And they did get the job done, though, over the Cronulla Sharks. Last, but certainly not least, we see the Eels taking on the Broncos. I think that this game, though, I was at this game to film it and to watch it, and it was absolutely splendoring game of football. 58 points to nil. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting the scoreline to happen, but I really think that this one was an absolute great game. But for Mitchell Moses, uh, Mike Osebo... Oh, oh my God, these two are an absolute legends. But you also got Dylan Brown, um, Daniel Alvaro, Sean Lane, you name it. Heaps of players scored uh, for this match. And literally, I was just blown away by how many points that this game had to offer. But yeah, it was an absolute brilliant game to see. And I was absolutely um, proud of myself, only because that the, um, the Pyramid Eels just got the job done pretty well and yeah I am absolute so happy um, to get that win over the Broncos only because that the Brisbane Broncos though are just not are a great team unfortunately last couple of weeks they've played really well but then you get sometimes their way um, when you play away teams that they didn't um, show so much attention um, to the squad but yeah, I really think that the Broncos are just not in the capability of um, playing football a couple of times though. But literally, I just think that I'm just speechless only because that Broncos are just not really a great side to play for the Parramatta Eels. But yeah, I just think that that game though was an absolute brilliant game. But I did tip the um, Eels though by 12 points and they obviously got the job done though. But if you do... Um, See the, my um, a vlog that I put up um, on Sunday. Do check it out, though. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I did um, view that. But, yeah, I was absolutely proud um, that I just um, filmed that uh, video for you guys, though, that watch my videos. But, yeah, um, I do give a shout-out to all you guys that um, watch my videos, though. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, I have a massive respect for you guys um, that watch my videos. But, anyway... Thanks, guys. Um, but, yeah, it was an absolute great game to see um, the uh, Parramatta Eels to take this win by so many points. <laughs> yeah, and for the Brisbane Broncos, though, I just think <sighs> they're just not a great footy team. But, yeah, well done to the Parramatta Eels. Thanks, guys, for watching my video, guys. Stay tuned for more, and I will be doing uh, two predictions um, for the women's and the men's coming to you soon and yeah i would be doing um at least um a couple more um for you guys though but yeah uh thanks guys for watching my video and i will be doing so many um videos though but yeah but anyway thanks guys for watching my videos and yeah uh, take care guys and have a good one and have a great day